Yeah, kia ora whanau. Uh, David here, just with brother Clive Lewis here, catching up with him before he and his beautiful darling Maria, who's holding the telephone, the camera, um, head up to Australia. So just taking a moment to catch up with the brother and yeah, just look back on the on the life of your plane here and oh yeah, where it all started. So a little bit of your fuck about the brew, where you come from. Yeah, who did you run away from to be here and <laughs> <laughs> all that stuff? Yeah, yeah. I didn't run away from anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Where we've been, it all stuff for you, brother. It started, um, what, as a child? Um, I don't know, preschool and you know, the old parties and stuff. They come to the pub, your parents come home with all your uncles and mates, and I just sit there and watch them, listen to them singing, watching them play. Yeah, that, those those magical times, those garage yeah. parties, and you know, for some. Oh, they were. But, but yeah. you know, there's there's you know, obviously a lot of things to learn from from going yeah. along and watching relations play. Yeah. yeah. So you grew up in a house full of music. Yeah. Was it yeah. around you? Yeah. Yeah. Did any of was. your whānau, like your grandparents, parents, play, or did you have any of that? Yeah, a lot of them played. Um, you know, some of them played in bands, and others just sitting in the corner and played. Right. That's yeah. what I was doing, sitting in the corner just trying to play. Play along. Mm. Yeah. Play along with everybody. Cool. Yeah. So, obviously, a guitar was put in your hand. Yeah. What age, kind of, you remember? Nah. Um, I must have been at school. But yeah, early. Or well, maybe then, and it was just a one string. I probably still remember the one string. <laughs> string. <laughs> <laughs> one string guitar. <laughs> <laughs> For years, I'd, I'd pick up tunes in the guitar sitting flat and just play this one string. I'm up and down. Just... Wait, the other five waste of time. You could have done the Jeff thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to look. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Oh, what a cool way to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Learn the hard way. So when you get the other five strings on there, oh, this makes a bit more sense, eh? Yeah, and obviously my father actually showed me the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, put your finger here, do this, do that. Oh, look, two strings. Oh, three strings. <laughs> cool. So has it always been guitar for you? Was yeah. that always your, have you played any other instruments now? Nah, harmonica. Everybody plays harmonica. Well, everybody plays. Oh. Yeah, most people. I find it was a came with a bit of paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. Just make your own tune. Yeah, cool. So it's all intuition stuff. Yeah. So from there, coming into your teenage years, what were you listening to, man? Who were you listening to at home? Oh, that's a big bearing as your yeah. influences. I was listening to the Shadows. Oh, for years as a child, as growing up, you know, even to be teens. Still do now, not like I used to. Mm. And I was trying to pick up um, Hank Marvin stuff. Wow. And wow. Well, I could go like nice, easy to pick that, and then all of a sudden it's just I mean, everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, I didn't know that about you. <laughs> I learned something about you today yeah. myself, probably. Yeah, true, Hank Marvin. Yeah. yeah. Anyone else that you were kind of like hooking into? And... Um, I guess you had music going on all around yeah. the house and yeah. records coming into the house. And then there was all the old. Yeah, no, it's, it's the old stuff. Even then, as a kid, there was 50s and 60s, you know, Dwayne Eddy and, and Ventures and all that sort of stuff, all the instrumental, and just fuck around with that. And that's probably, yeah, and then everything else just sort of to start to come in and you listen to different stuff and having a go. So tell us about that first time you decided that I'm gonna give this whole being in a band thing a go. How did that come about for you? Or were you just chucked in there? <laughs> <laughs> As you are. Yeah, Kenny Ray. Kenny Fenwick, same dude. We were at a, um, a hot rod thing way back in Plymouth, I don't know, 18 or 19. You were, you were about 18, 19 years of age at this point? Yeah, yeah. With those chops under your belt? Mm, yeah, just things that I play with at home. And the bass player was running late. So Kenny's running around looking for a bass player. He's looking for my brother. So my brother wasn't there. Well, he was there. He said, no, get on. So he says, oh, do you play bass? I said, oh, no. He says, good. So he stand up on stage. He puts his bass guitar on me. Sweet. 
a fair idea, you know, what just yeah, walking around. Yeah. Here you go. Your first song's in C. Yeah. What's a C? Where is C? Yeah, yeah, no. So you have to strum until I found it here, sweet. Most of it was three, four chord stuff again. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much what I still do now. <laughs> so coming along through your teenage years, you're still listening to other stuff, still Anything. picking up. Yeah. Oh, I like that. You know, I know yeah, we chatted yeah. before about going to pubs and to, yeah, you know, yeah. you're supposed to be taking your date out, you know, for the dance, but oh, I really want to watch this band. Yeah, that's yeah. what we do. It ended up being just um, the guys, because the dates weren't interested. Then. I can go down here. <laughs> All you do is this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's all we Con did. Yeah, go and watch. Watch what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, try yeah. yeah I think I did my years of loitering around stages, and yeah. I'm like trying to get a fingernail hold on what people are doing. You learn, I'm, I'm a visual mm. learner, I'm sure yeah. you are. Yeah. yeah. But you, you never tried to jump on the cat, or, you know? Yeah, never succeeded. Did you, you had a bash though? Did, yeah, and it was only loud. Like, you get, get your swing going, it's the only way I can give any sort of time. Time, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. cool. I used to like drumming along to. Can't remember that. Might have been Boney M actually, Night Flight to Venus. Right. And the drumming was just. I don't know how I picked that up. Well, I don't yeah. have that. And that was the limit. Somebody yeah, else's kit just playing this. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's cool. That's cool. But you know, you're doing something, eh, when you're at that age and you know, but yeah. all the rugby guys are getting all the chips and you know, you're trying to yeah. figure it out over here and how do I get the chips and all that. Cool, my bro. Toys. Yeah. So, your first band? Can't remember. Yeah, cool. That's a good memory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, um, what the hell did he call themselves back then? Now I can't remember. Well, what genre were you was, kind of like? It was mostly the old rock and roll stuff back then. No, your Hank Marvin stuff would have come in yeah, quite yeah, nicely. Yeah, a lot of that. So you, you yeah. kind of, you, you don't read the hockey sticks, do you read the hockey sticks? No, nah, mate. No. So you just, all your, all your lyrical plans all just... Hope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think I'll try that. Yeah, let's go out on hope. Yeah, that's the one. Where's the bass player's fingers? Oh, they're around that dot. Yeah, so am I. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. What a blessing to be able to be able to intuitively say your ear yeah. comes into play. It, it worked back then. And the dots on the guitar, that was another thing we used to. Oh, what chord is it? Oh, which dot is it? Yeah. Oh, it's the third one. Oh, yeah, sweet. I know that. Yeah, yeah, I've got a friend that, that likes, um, you know, some of the old um, Dire Straits stuff and they like bar chords and those trying to follow him. What bar chords that? You know, like, trying to count, you know. It can be, yeah. it can be a bit of a miss. Now you just bring it up on YouTube with the chords. Yeah, yeah. 2005 YouTube came out. So did you find that helpful for you? Or were you still doing the record player? I was still, still really old. Yeah. Then, uh, well, sounds like that. Close enough there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, close enough. Yep. Learn that. Go out and play it completely different. That's a cool name for a band, bro. Close enough, eh? <laughs> close enough. <laughs> so cool. Um, I remember that. So, I know we touched upon it before. Original material? Come on, brother. I'm sure you the pen the old love song there, oh. cousin. Maybe one love song and other shit. Just shit but they were just words. Could never put music to it, or really? it would be the same four chords, <laughs> same structure, different speed. Were you listening to a lot of music and their yeah. influences? Who were your influences, man? Who were you really digging on, man? If I was to say, bottom line, man, who are yeah. your influences? Who who do you really dig? Everybody. There was like different times. I don't, I don't have a favourite. Same. Yeah. Yeah. And there was um, oh, all your classic guitar players anyway didn't really discover Gary Moore until I was probably around 20 and it was like, yeah, have a listen to this dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, revelation. Yeah, and yeah. he used to try and learn Gary Moore songs. 
Uh, you wouldn't be the only person trying to learn Gary <laughs> Moore songs. He's plunk by plunk. Yeah. And it's just, it's just going so fast. Alright. Uh, tried recording it on a, um, I can't remember what song it was, but on the old VCRs. Yeah, yeah. Frame by frame. Yeah, yeah, he's here, yeah, he's wow. here. Wow. And then, <laughs> frame by frame. <laughs> and then his fingers are moving three or four times at one frame. I oh, give that up. <laughs> wow. Wow, man. That's, that's, that's doing it the hard way. <laughs> now, as I say, 2005. Especially now, like. Bring it up on YouTube, you know. A lot of young people that just learn by YouTube. Yeah, I've talked to a few young people. Oh, I learned who taught you. Man, that's really cool. Oh, I learned on YouTube. Wow. Yeah. 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 I did the record player. You did the frame by frame. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and my son did the old computer thing. Yeah. Tab. Can you read tabs? No. So, at what point did you arrive in Tauranga, man? Uh, well, did you know anyone here in the music world when you arrived? No. Man? No. So you were just like me, just yeah. rolling into town, yeah. you know, Zorro on his horse. Yeah. I'm here. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. Cool. <laughs> I don't even know how I got into the first band here. Really? Or how it happened. Who did, who did you meet here? Did you, you must have met some people who... Were you no. loitering around the back stages? No, nah, not out the back. I went to a um, musician's club. They had a... Towering Musicians Club way back then. Cool. And I what year, that. What, what year do you, do you remember that to be? Roughly. Late 80s? Early mm. 90s? No, it must have been late. Really late 80s. Yeah. And I went to that. And that's where I met musicians. I met, got into art. Of course, where I used to work, chassis and steering way back in the day, there was this little wee, tiny wee little shop next to it out on the street. It was just like a knick-knack, Luigi sort of thing, and Chris Gunrun. Uh, that's how I got into it here. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah. I used to pop in there and buy little gifts for my daughter at the time. And yeah, and that's where it started here. Yeah. Memories. People like Chris Gunn, you know, I heard his name before I ever met him. Yeah, you know, there was a name that was being bandied around town. All these yeah, yeah. Different names you'd hear, you know. Have you heard of so-and-so, have you seen so-and-so? And I mean, I'm like, oh, man, I don't even know where the dairy is, man. <laughs> yeah. Let alone find, you know. But then when you meet them, yeah, how cool. So you, that's how you kind of got your start in the Tauranga music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you have been different variations, combinations of different bands. Did you have any mainstay bands that you were playing with at the time? At the time, no. It was through that lot that I, I hooked up with, um, Harry and Dean and, and Martin and can't remember the name of the band either. That's all right. But yeah, it was just a little um, just a little band. It was quite cool. Playing all covers, all, yeah, all yeah, rock covers and that. Yeah, and we were doing pretty and good. And now for the lead breaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh what? <laughs> yeah. I'm just plugging in the back. Hey, just <laughs> follow us, go. <laughs> now we now we need the lead break. Yeah. Why are, you, why are you all looking at me? Yeah. <laughs> Let me be broke out. <laughs> so you would have started to meet all the local musical whānau here. In yeah, this town. yeah. And they were all um, just really cool people, eh? Right? How do you find the, the local whānau, the musical whānau here? You know, I, I've always found it inclusive here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was, um, I don't know, it was probably more me than them, but I was always a bit standoffish. Yeah, still a bit daunted by some of these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. We had that chat in the yeah. studio, eh? and sometimes you know, like you, you look across. I was, I was playing recently. I looked across the stage. He was on the stage. And I'm like, how did I get here? Yeah, you know, like, like huh? really? You know, like, you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then come to you, and I was like, hmm? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, it's a blessing. I like what David Crosby said. He once said that um, it's a privilege and a pleasure to be able to do what we do. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. And say some more about that, brother. Yes. Yeah. You know, and as I say, it's a privilege and an honour. Privilege yeah. to do what we do. You know. And sometimes I have to try and remember that myself. So yourself. Yeah. Like that. Exactly the same. Would we be? Would I be? Not where I am, or doing what I'm doing, yeah. if I wasn't here? Yeah. Because what I have met. 
musicians like the ones here if I stayed in Auckland? Or would we be doing something completely different? Would I have given it away and stayed mechanically? I don't know. Did but you ever park your guitar up at any point for a length of time and come back to it? Did uh, you have those moments? For uh, about a year. I think musicians go through those seasons, eh? They yeah. Park away for a bit. Um, yeah. yeah. You think, yeah, I'm not using it, but you never enters your mind to sell it because there's always no. a, I might no. use it again. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. The extension of the arm, brother. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And it's all coming with me. Yeah, so, raw deal, man. Yeah. Five years? Oh, about 30. 30 How did that band start, brother? Well, what gun were you all sitting in when you decided, hey, we should put a band together, brother? Yeah. I was with, <laughs> I was still playing with Brown Sugar, I think we called it band. And then dipping in and out, dipping in and out. <laughs> um, band sliding with That's two the pills. terminology. Yeah. yeah. And then somewhere along the line, might have been Lou Fenieri actually, he might have rung me to say, oh, we're looking for a guitar player, what's one more band? Hmm. And pop down there, I don't know how long band. Playing in five anyway. Yeah, two. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, just had a run through with these guys. I, the band hadn't been going that long. And that was about 1990. And the first gig was Somewhere, like Tapuki somewhere, and it was. Yeah. And the magic was there. Yeah, and the band was just like, oh, wow, this is cool. So you, on, you gone. You'd be considered one of the original members of the band. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. And you've seen the changes that have come through the band. I'm picking the changes that came through the band yeah, yeah. through the years. And every change brought a different dynamic. Yeah, as so, it does. Yeah. yeah. So basically, we're pretty much still playing the same songs. We we're playing way back then, the nineties. But each change just made a different dynamic and made the whole song different. Right. Cool. As, cool. as to what we got now, back to a four, sometimes five piece, two guitars. Oh, yeah. 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 No, that's a nice mix. You know, I, yeah. I remember when I first met you guys. I remember when I first met you. Yeah. And then you know, through the years, we you know. We're, Touched in and now they're each other's lives through yeah. the different projects we've been involved in or different bands. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I was you know, just reminding you of when I first met you. Uh, you know, well, that's a different band too, wasn't it? Yeah, we're coming <laughs> on to play with this band and you know who's in the band? I didn't even know who these names were. You were yeah. one of them. Yeah, yeah. And I remember coming up to you and saying, hey man, what's, what genre do you guys play? Because I had no idea what the hell I just signed up for here tonight. And I'll bet the answer was, oh, it's just easy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was one of them. It was wonderful. Yeah, it was, it was a wonderful experience. Yeah. I still got photos of that night. You know, yeah, so have I. Back to 12, somewhere around there. Yeah. 2012. <coughs> I'm sure it was. That was a rogue scene, wasn't it? I have no I idea who you guys were. I'm man. pretty sure that's what we called it. So we just kind of gate yeah. crashed. Yeah. yeah. Remember, and I, yeah, he just dragged me with my sorry ass along. Come with me. Yeah, yeah he said, oh, oh, I've got this mate of mine. He's um percussionist. Should bring him, mate. It's <laughs> <laughs> a glorified name for someone that hangs around a bed. Oh, he plays those things. That's what I think applies. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, nah, cool, brother. Right? Good night. So now that's all. Chapter is coming to a yeah. close for you because you're in, uh, heading over to the Yonder, brother. Yeah, mate. You have hopes for over there, what you might want to do when you get over there. Other than fish, play golf. Yeah, retiring. Don't know about fish. Yeah, putting yeah. a sun can oil on, all that stuff. No, don't need that one. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> At this stage, we're just going, just going to be with the family, with the kids. And um, no direction or worry about that when we get there. Blank canvas. Yeah, right. that's the word for it. Yeah. 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 I think we've all come to a lot. I've come to a blank canvas moment. Just yeah. Live in the moment. Whatever happens in that moment, man. You know, that's that's it. Yeah, but it can only it can only go one way or the other. 
Uh, it, again, you've got to be with your family. And talking yeah. about your family because you've got red hair. Yeah. How's that whole journey? I probably I should be asking her. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can talk from behind that. <laughs> How's that you know, whole thing been for, you know, the, it's finding that balance between family life and your passion, which you know, mm. some people play golf. Yeah. I happen to like to pick up the guitar in your case. So yeah. How do you find that balance, man? It um, actually wasn't never been that bad. They've always been involved. We'd done, um, yeah, we got away with some shit, eh? When the kids were little, uh, early teens, I suppose, they'd come to the gig, set up, tune up, all sorts of which couple of songs, yeah. Slavery, clean your slavery, lift my yeah, like, one, <laughs> drink my effort. Those jams out of them, what? They would, the boys would come out, I'd go in there and start yakking with everybody, year set up, tune, the end of the night, go and have a couple of beers. Years all packed down, I just had to put it in the car. <laughs> these, these young fellas are doing it. Do you, has music played an influence on your children? Do they, do they any of them, you know, do you go, check, check me out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the two boys, like Aaron and, and Matt, Matt's into it big time. Um, Aaron's into it, he's, he's pretty cool, this little ukulele thing, hey. Cool. I think there's something really gratifying about that. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I can just quickly recall a gig we did at Tupuna, and our drummer just said, hey man, I've got a gammy hit, man. He drummed. So I drummed, and my son happened to be visiting from Wellington. He got up and played congas. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, whoa. Cool. This yeah. is one of those, oh yeah, kind of moments. And he's yeah. doing the BBs to yeah. all the old stuff that I still listen to. Yeah, he's like, you know, 23 at yeah. this point. Yeah, doing stuff from the 60s and 70s. But he, he knew it because he grew, he grew up listening to all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. They still do now and they grow up listening to that, eh? All the kids. Do you, do you, do you teach? I can't. I have no idea how. Because I never really learned. Hey, sit down and play that note or yeah. cut your fingers off. <laughs> <laughs> that dot, that dot, that dot. Put that finger on there and that's, and that's about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, I never taught my mm. children actively because I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a horrible teacher. You know, so I've got the patience to even teach myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't have a clue how to teach. And I know a few musicians that get other people to teach their, their children. Yeah, I think yeah. it just removes themselves from that dynamic. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. They found Google as a really good teacher. Uncle Google. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, how do you play that? Um, what this? Okay. Yeah, figured it out. <laughs> well, you know, I guess in closing, my brother, because you know you're going to be leaving Tauranga, you and your family, and heading overseas, you know, you've got a bit of a gap here, man. In terms of, uh, you know, I'm going to miss different. seeing that cowboy hat up on that stage, you know, <laughs> flying from one room side of the room to the other on the wire trapeze wire. <laughs> <laughs> Standing up on the yeah, table. Yeah, there was no wire, I was just falling over, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Reaching for the bed. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hey, you know, yeah. anything that you want to say to the Tarot Mufano? Oh, hell, it's been a ride. Yeah. <laughs> and that's been it. Man. Musical it's been a great yeah. ride, man. Yeah, wonderful memories of wonderful yeah. things. Yeah. yeah, and just, yeah, wonderful people. Yeah. The musos here just. Yeah, amazing. Like, like we talked about before, yeah. and I always found them to be really encouraging. Yeah. 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 I want to back this horse. Yeah. They were never really above themselves or anything. No. Nah. No matter yeah. what you thought of them, the brilliance on stage presence of, of all of them, mm. and then they just come and talk. Yeah. And encourage you and do oh, great. I yeah. don't know if there's another place in the world like that. Yeah, no, I, I, I must say, you know, Karana has, I, I'm blown away by the amount of music here and the musicians here, but the yeah. spirit of the musicians, yeah, yeah. They, you know, you can, you know, make a point of visiting the blues, the brothers that, that play the blues, or the yeah. brothers that play the reggae and the funk, and the, yeah. the brothers that play the folk, yeah, who cares, man, it's all yeah. just all it's part all of the building part, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And you meet lots of people, you know. Yeah, oh, that's why I love the jams, eh? You just, you go and jam. But hard. Now I think a lot of it is time constrained. You know, you get a band or another band, another band. You don't really get that chance to just go and jam with people that you don't 
Moving Pilot. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, that's a beast. I've, I know it's limited me. I don't think mm. I don't want to get up and sing a song because damn, I don't know. Or like even like the shit I, I, I play. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I got all these stories going on in my head, and I just oh, I'll just sit here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm ready now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Happy with the shop. <laughs> awesome. It's been a blessing to know you, brother, and I'm sure the Fano and who was watching this and especially the Tano and Fano will miss your presence around there, brother. Oh, I'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be so if you left us with a false address that we send, you know, the police to when they're looking for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. They go in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I saw them we were going back to Zimbabwe. <laughs> Well, it starts with an A and ends with an A. <laughs> anyway, Kelvano, thank you for tuning in. Just a little casual chat with the brother. That's all it is. Awesome. Cool, man. <laughs>